you're trying to pick out the right pair of trucks, we're always told to match the axle width with our deck width, or at least stay within a quarter inch difference. So if you're someone that rides an 8.5 width board, you'd want to ride a truck width between an 825 to an 875. If your trucks are way too narrow for your deck, it's going to throw off the geometry of your whole setup, so the pressure points and the weight distribution for when you're doing flip tricks will be completely off. And if you're riding trucks that are way too wide for your board, you're going to get so much more wheel bite and you'll be at risk of kicking your board as you're pushing or as you're turning, your heels or your toes can hit the wheels and that'll stop you as well. But exactly how much play can you get from the width of your trucks compared to the width of your board? For example, if you guys have been watching me long enough, you know that I've been riding 875 boards for a long time. And over this last month, I have just gone up to riding a nine inch board, but I've kept my 875 trucks on this board. And when I set up this nine inch board and started riding this size, my setup was actually noticeably heavier. So when I did make the jump up to a nine inch board, I'd planned to keep 151 trucks. I didn't want to go up to the equivalent of a nine inch axle because I don't want to make my board any heavier. But in saying that, keeping my 151 trucks that suit my 875, once I started riding this board, it was noticeably heavier. My whole setup was heavier and it actually got a little bit of getting used to. So today I'm going to go through a bit of an experiment. I've got an idea that I'm hoping will pay off in the end, but I've gone and got a new pair of trucks and these are a 149. So the axle width of these trucks suit an 8.5 board. Now an 8.5 truck axle to a nine inch board, obviously that's half an inch difference. And if I line this 149 up with the nine inch board, you'll actually be able to see how much it will sit in. So that's hard up to that side. You can see how much difference there actually is there. So my theory and my plan is to lighten my board as much as I can. I've always ridden the hollow light trucks. Since I started riding these that I'll never go back to standard trucks. So I've got 54 mil wheels, a nine inch board. I'm gonna go down to a 149 size truck and just see if I can make that weight reduction from me going up to a bigger board. But to try and keep my setup as similar as possible, just drop the weight a little bit. I've got extra truck washers that I'm gonna put on the inside of my wheels. So on the inside of each wheel, I'm gonna have three truck washers there, which in theory is gonna make my wheel sit further out on the axle, widening what my trucks actually are and creating a bigger grinding point where the hanger is here. So if my plan goes correctly, I'm gonna lighten the weight of my setup by having a narrower truck, but by pushing my wheels further out, that should compensate with me going for a narrower truck by making my actual base wider. So that's gonna be my experiment today, dropping my trucks to a smaller size, but pushing my wheels out wider towards the outside of the axle. I feel like it's gonna feel like the exact same setup, but just a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna set all that up right now, get all that sorted, head down to the skate park, try it out and see if it actually makes a difference. If it feels lighter, if I can still lock into all my grinds properly, since the hanger surface is gonna be narrowed a little bit. But all of this working is just a theory that I've come up with in my head and I'm hoping it does work, but I'm gonna to get to the bottom of if you really have to get the same truck width as your board width. So let's settle this up and go to the park right now. So you can kind of tell there's a bigger gap on the inside of my wheel because the washers are there, but it's pushed my wheels pretty much perfectly in line with the entire hanger here. So I've basically got the whole surface to grind on here. So it does sit in a fair bit on each side as well. And you can tell even more when I've got it like in a primo position, how much the board's tilted. But let's get a warm up, wear these in and see if my theory is correct.
<laughs> so surprisingly these trucks feel exactly the same as my last setup i can't tell if the board's any lighter like it's popping the same it's grinding the same everything feels exactly the same which i guess is a good thing because i wanted to lighten my setup without making any sacrifices and going down a truck size seems to be the right way every time i grind something it feels exactly the same as my other setup it feels perfect so i've changed skate parks i've come to Oran park here so i'm going to keep skating testing them out more i haven't done any flip tricks yet so i might do that while i'm here and then i'll talk about why a truck size might not matter at the end of the day so it looks like I won't be skating here because it just started pouring down rain. There goes that idea. Oh, sensors are on. Nothing but flat ground here. He's such a pose. I know. It's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> So weirdly enough, going down a full truck size had no effect at all, not from what I could tell anyway. It is obviously lighter because I've gone down a truck size from the 875 size to the 8.5 size, but the only differences I could feel is because they were brand new trucks. So the grinds were working really smoothly and the trucks themselves were a bit looser because the bushings were fresh. So that had to be worn in a little bit, but other than that, the trucks felt exactly the same as my last ones. So I'm guessing they didn't feel any lighter because I was riding my nine inch board with the 151 trucks for like two to three weeks. So I think I had already gotten used to the heavier weight of that board. I was already used to the heavier setup so it didn't really make much more difference especially having the three washers on the inside of each wheel pushing my wheels out so I had the full maximum hanger length to lock in and grind so all my grinds felt the same all my lock-in points were the same too. So when you're picking a new pair of trucks I would say definitely stick within that quarter inch leeway so again if you're riding an 8.5 don't go past either an 8.25 or an 8.75 so stay in that range of a truck axle width but on occasions where you're trying to customize your board towards your type of skating like I did. I'm riding trucks that are a half inch smaller and they feel fine to me so it's all personal preference like everything in skateboarding so don't just take my word for it because this is my personal experience and this is the way I want my setup to be. I guess if anything having lighter trucks for me because I did my 9.25 egg board video and I'm planning to ride the 9.5 egg board it'll be better for me when I'm riding these wider boards having lighter trucks so my full setup doesn't get any bigger or heavier but other than that the trucks feel great and there wasn't much differences at all. So if you enjoyed this video check out my Thunder Hollow Light truck review right here. These are the trucks I'm going to continue to ride for as long as I can see. They're amazing, they're nice and light, they grind really well. So check that video out. Let me know if you guys match your board width to your axle width or you have different sized trucks to your board. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.